Sean Simone. Good. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it. First of all, uh, what a, a is welcome. Um, but number two is I just want to go around real quick and kind of find out what your name is and, and if you're a student or if you're not, why you're here and what you do real quick. Chuck, I'll start with you. My name's Chuck Harris and I'm a student at Lawrence. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I was an entrepreneur once. <clears throat> Still am to a certain degree, but I work for a security company now, ABT, the largest security company in the world. Good. Ray? Hello, uh, Ray Castle. I'm a assistant professor here at LSU in the Department of Kinesiology. I also uh, own uh, a company as an entrepreneur as well. We do uh, e-learning and webcasting solutions. Um, and right now, I just wanted to find out what this was. Maybe an opportunity to hire somebody. So do we. Oh, hire somebody. <laughs> Game over. Thank you all. You can go home now. Good. 
good. Glad you're here. When they brought me back, uh, I mean, financial services actually have my own financial fund. And I'm here because I hooked up with Sean. We've been friends, been growing a great relationship. And uh, a lot of things that y'all do stand for, you know, uh, I want to be going back up for it, being a venture capital, and, and just learning and learning and eating as much information as I can. So that's why I'm here. Good deal. My name is Ryan McLaughlin. I'm a sophomore finance major. Good. I'm Brittany Brown. I am a, the sales representative for the NFIB, National Federation of Independent Business. We lobby for small businesses. Um, I'm here for networking. Good. Uh, good evening. My name is Vinny Thangar, and I just uh, arrived from overseas. I worked over the last seven years in, in Southeast Asia doing private equity work. So, started my. I'm from Baton Rouge originally. So. Uh, started my own investment vehicle, which has made investments in, in uh, web-based mobile outsourcing and uh, looking at some other investments that I'm looking to Great. bring in Louisiana. Glad you're here and welcome home. Anthony, we saw next. I'm Abigail Calderera. Um, I'm here for networking and um, just like to just, you know, eat up as much information as I can, learn as much as I can. Good. Nathan? I'm Nathan Rust. Uh, um, from Zachary, Louisiana. I'm a student, an entrepreneur. I also work with several uh, companies that do petrochemical and environmental technology development. My name is Megan. I'm a senior at LSU, um, majoring in marketing, and I just declared a minor in entrepreneurship. And I'm just here to get all the information from the people and see what it is. Uh, my name is Kelly Springett. I'm a junior in management with the Education and Human Resources. Um, I'm just here network and see, basically, like Megan said, see what it was about. Um, my name is Chris Ballet. I'm a uh, senior in journalism, but uh, I'm pretty heavily involved with the uh, PSC, and Sean Kai got me involved in sort of, sort of stuff, so I'm kind of interested. Okay. My name is Josh Smith. Everyone calls me Smitty. Um, met Anthony Morales uh, through our <coughs> business with Arbus Acquisitions. We were a marketing firm. Here in the Baton Rouge area, we outsource for Fortune 500 clients, and now we do business, business sales, and, and uh, side of things for them, you know, promotions and stuff like that. And then, uh, the biggest thing that we're looking for really is just you know networking. Obviously, getting a new. Uh, I like the idea. Of, and Anthony was talking about last night, just you know expanding uh, a more entrepreneur mindset uh, for Baton Rouge, and uh, possibly getting some new recruits out of it. So Good. Yeah. Uh, I'm also with uh, Smitty at Argos. Uh, yeah, we came down here a couple years ago, got our, our firm opened up and got to meet Anthony through that. And that's our big thing is just trying to network more and recruit heavily. We haven't really been able to be very successful recruiting out of LSU for whatever reason. We're putting our heads against the ivory towers of academia there. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, definitely interested in uh, meeting some sharp recruits and uh, networking with other business professionals in the area. I'd love to. Okay. Craig Banta. Uh, just starting a new company, Rapid Bloom uh, websites, uh, primarily supporting entrepreneurial activities in North Baton Rouge through the North Baton Rouge Economic Development Good. Council and Southern University. Good. I'm Jan Brisacker. My background's in education management. I'm sort of director of operations for whatever he does. <coughs> <laughs> Clean up. Well, my name's Bill Bryan. I'm an attorney here in town, and um, I do a lot of work at the Capitol. So. Um, I came because um, I wanted to network with you guys, but I also wanted to see how um, what you all are doing um, needs to be translated into policies. Uh, because I think a lot of what we're doing here is, is good to get some businesses and things like that going, but it also um, uh, can be uh, uh, stopped uh, at the Capitol by bad policy. So we need to see how we can help further you along with doing some good productive policies. Glad you're here. Yes, ma'am. My name is Jennifer Fowler. I am a former entrepreneur and probably one day again, but currently I'm working at the Louisiana Business and Technology Center, which is housed in the Uso College of Business at LSU. Um, we're an incubator of about, we have about 26 companies right now, but we're working on developing a program for a student incubator. So ideally it would be LSU students, BRCC students. So I'm here to kind of find out, you know, what you're really looking for and how we can, you know, maybe put it into a big package. So, Absolutely. Yes, sir. My name is Greg Schultz. Um, I'm a journalism major. I'm starting my own kind of social media website. 
where it's like an online blog where we cover technology, the tech, tech and media scene from pretty much Houston to Tallahassee and as far north as Memphis. Our first big store we covered was KLSU being fined $10,000, which we were kind of the first to break that story. And I, I'm just here to network and hopefully help my online business grow. Good. Uh, my name is Ryan Keller. I'm a mechanical engineering student. And I kind of aspire one day to uh, have my own like consultant firm. And so I'm just kind of trying to network and do that kind of thing. <clears throat> Good. I'm Martha Barnes. I'm a career counselor and coach employed at VRCC. I work with the technical students and the nursing students. And so what I'm particularly interested in is just to see how I could plug into this movement in this area because, you know, the specialty is to get your purpose and your passion, your plan, and forward action. And somehow you need encouragement to just keep the momentum going. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm Kevin Langley. I uh, sat in these seats uh, several years ago as an LSU student, took the same classes that y'all did, and uh, I own a commercial construction company, so I guess technically I'm an entrepreneur. But I find my passions are more about helping entrepreneurs, so I'm the chairperson for the Global Student Entrepreneur Awards, along with a lot of other nonprofit activities around entrepreneurship. It's a pretty incredible program, and, and, and that's a great piece. I'm glad to hear Kevin. Terry? started a business called Classes on Demand, specializing in uh, e-learning and trying to bring it to, Bat bring it to Baton Rouge, bring it to BRCC, LSU, and the schools in the area, and then expand from that. Cool. My name is Hunter Thompson. I'm a senior at LSU in management, and I have a startup company of textbook resource sites. And uh, now I'm like six months old, so I'm learning and excited. And, uh, My name is Adam Fono. I am a junior in marketing here at LSU. I'm here for networking and also to learn as much about entrepreneurship as possible. I have uh, some dreams and ambitions, as all we are, as we all do, um, owning and running and franchising my own restaurant. My name is Jonathan Booth. I actually uh, graduated. I work for the Department of Economic Development, uh, but on the side, I started my own investment partnership with a friend of mine. We have a few investors. Uh, our goal is to really be the next Berkshire Hathaway over the next. Came tonight to network, meet some people, and you know, potential partners or other business uh, owners, etc. Great. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, well, I'm popping in and out here, as I mentioned to you. Uh, I'm Randy Ostrom. I reside here in Baton Rouge. I was a uh, LSU graduate, and since then I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I've uh, bought and sold businesses, and uh, you know, have three businesses I currently own and operate. And, Excited to stop in to see the kind of spirit of uh, entrepreneurs you might attract here in the room this evening. Great. Good. Glad you're here. Um, I won't go ahead. Introduce yourself real quick. Hi. Oh, Heather Booth with ADT Security. My partner, Chuck Harris. I'm also with ADT and the residential suit. Good. Glad you're here. Um, let me just off the bat tell you just a couple of random things that, you know, Sean really, we've talked a lot about what we want to get done, but. What I don't want to do is start another club, start another, you know, set of speakers that comes out, start another, you know, organization sort of a deal, and we've talked about that. What's different today than it's not five years ago or ten years ago is social networking, internet, the ability to communicate, viral marketing, and a number of you are sort of, you know, dabbing in those areas. 
But what's really happened, and, and there's a great book by a guy named Seth Godin, who's a one, tremendous marketer. Um, he's done Purple Cows years ago. He did Tribes most recently. He's done a, a book called Meatball Sunday. But he really gets it in terms of where advertising is, is I don't want to say dying, but it's certainly its significance is waning, and where the new media and marketing is. But at the end of the day, if you look at the Obama campaign at five dollars and lots of grassroots opportunities and the internet that's out there the difference in the world today is is it really the consumer is back in charge and at the end of the day people are back in charge and if you look at the health care debate that's going on right now with congress the reason that everything's up in arms is because ten fifteen years ago you kind of had three or four networks you had a newspaper and you got your news in a couple of places well now it's viral the bloggers are beating the the news networks People are in charge, and people are making th making things happen. So, what's dramatically different about tonight here today is is that you all are now stepping into a world that creates a, a wild opportunity for innovation, unlike ever before. So, you all have a platform that I didn't have the benefit of having. Um, I ran a dot com back in 2002 through 2005 called Connect Utilities. If you move from one place to another, you got to call utilities and set them all up, and electric power, phone, cable. It was a real pain in the butt and then you had to go put them where they were. We did connect utilities. You go where, where they were and you say where you want to put them. You fill in your information once and you go out. We were really, I think, very ahead of our time because it was really a bleeding edge sort of play. But with Terry's help being part of our, the, uh, some of the capital that came in, we were successfully acquired by our competition. We like that. And we're rooting for their stock right now. So it's, it's, uh, we, were, we also started directly after the 2002 bubble burst. And so we also tried to raise capital in Louisiana, which was pretty dang close to impossible. So we made it out. We survived. Survive, but it was a brutal beating. Uh, you know, I, Terry took some meat out of me on the neck every, with a nine iron every now and then. But it was it was a brutal existence. I'll be I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's a tough tough world when you get into ventures and things like that. But now there's seed and there's angels, and those they're getting more sophisticated. But at the end of the day. Um, to you all's benefit is that there's never been a better way to be able to get a message out. Again, I recommend you read Tribes by Seth Godin. What it says is that you don't need to be the king anymore to, to bring people together and get commerce going. If you have a good idea, if people buy into it, if you're transparent and embrace it, uh, it'll indeed happen. But many of you all are here for many reasons. My vision, and I think what Sean and I discussed was, is that we don't want to create a lot of formality. Um, I also ran a group called Austin Six Race Six, and so we had no dues, we had no structure, we had no board, and we got things done uh, in town and downtown and term limits and things like that. And we loved, hey, thank you. We loved, and we have a better council because of it. But at the end of the day, what happened was is that we weren't about having boards and presidents and meetings and all that kind of stuff. We would send out a, a blast to, to people, which maybe some of you all are here because you got the A6 email, and we show up at bars and we like cocktails. So we meet at walk-ons or downtown, and it was all about attitude. Well, you all are entrepreneurs, and I sat in a meeting much more formal than this back in 2002 where, you know, how to be an entrepreneur, how to succeed, and I sat there and listened to bankers and lawyers and everybody else tell us how wonderful life was going to be and what your opportunity is, and all I wanted to know was where was the money and how could I get it and let's get going. And so that never happened. And so it's a brutal learning, but not to, not to discourage you in any sense. It is hard, but it is doable. The bottom line is, is that the, the, the opportunity is amongst yourselves. Um, you all are a group that even in, amongst this group today, we have a very diverse spread. We have some people offering resources. We have some people wanting resources. We have some people who are engaged in commerce now. And just amongst yourselves, you all could probably help each other elevate if you became a form of your own. Um, as Sean has put up on the, on the Ning website, there is now that, so, there's that social networking space. But what we're looking to do is virally find entrepreneurs. And literally, our role, or Sean's role, is to become a hub for people to engage in learning and commerce together. So rather than have us sit here and have the lawyers get up and tell you all the stuff and the bankers tell you how to go about how to get venture capital, we don't know. We, they, they aren't, you know, some of them are here. But quite honestly, is our role, I think, in listing is, what do you all want? What do you all lack? What we want to do is listen to you all in subsequent meetings and say, we want to know the legal pieces or the policies that keep us from getting in an enterprise zone or getting capital. We want to know what legally forms we have to do. This is all about you. It is not about us. 
Our hope is to create a place where you all can stop in electronically, virtually, where you can ask hard questions, and I have no problem pulling any banker, lawyer, or anybody in here and have them give you their, their song, and, and quite honestly, all of us ask them the hard questions. Because when you launch off and you want to be an entrepreneur and there's stars in your eyes, uh, if you read the book The Dip by Seth Godin, there are filters that, that sort of take, the, take people from moving forward, and we want to take those off. So while there are innovative, uh, entrepreneurial you know, sessions and trainings and universities do things, this, that, and the other, I think the basis of this group is, is it's your group. It's your opportunity to do what you want to do. And I think what Sean's committed to is say, tell us what you need. Tell us what you as the client of this group wants. And we will endeavor to present that back. I mean, Charlie Dagg's group has a lot of resources. There are resources here, but now we need a place because when you get an executive director and when you get all sorts of other things together, it just kind of gets too formal for me. I'm a guy who likes to get it done and get going. So this is for you all. So this meeting can last five minutes. This meeting can last two hours. It makes really no difference to us. If it's not of value to you, if you don't perceive that Sean or I or any of the people in here can offer you the resources to be more successful, we, I promise you, and I know Sean does, is that there won't be a question that if we don't know, we won't go try to find it for you or connect you. I mean, a lot of the guys in this room know a lot of the people around. So if you're not getting answers or you're getting, excuse me, BS answers, this is the place to vet them out because, quite honestly, the entrepreneurs will start chattering. If somebody gets on and starts blogging that we know that there's great innovation opportunity or LSU is wonderful at tech transfer or all this kind of stuff, those discussions can now happen online. The, the, they're, they're in control. I know you're, you're loving me out of the side. But, and, and quite honestly, Charlie Dagg's group does a huge resource to what goes on around here. But there really is learnings and things to do. And what you all want is answers, and you want it frank. And quite honestly, if you, the, the, in my opinion, it's now time for the entrepreneurs to start blogging back and forth, to start talking about what's going on, to start the buzz of pushback or where do we get money, because people will respond. Austin 6 started off with six people in a bar in Austin, and now we're 2,500, and we quite honestly did a huge turnover in term limits. I mean, that can happen. It's all called swarming. That's the new marketing buzzword is building swarms, finding leaders who can begin the discussions and then other people get in. On Facebook, you'll start a group, and five or six people will get on, then you'll see it in your list, and people get in, but swarms are happening all over. That's a big buzzword that's out there, literally. And so the key is you all can become the entrepreneurial swarm. I can't wait in my life, because I'm old, I can't wait till I'm 70 to have all that come around. I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to see you guys go. Kevin and I have talked for 10, 15 years about these things. Terry's been in it. You know, Bill Bryan and I have been together for a long time. Charlie Dagg, I mean, all the groups are talking. The incubators are talking. I'm on that committee that, that is looking at the assessment of what's the best innovative use. There's an angel fund that's about to start I believe, coming together um, very soon. There's stuff going to start happening. You guys can be thought leaders. Sense can be the place for the discussion to happen. So we don't really intend to charge you membership dues. I wrote the check for the meeting tonight. We don't intend to sit here and make you required to do a bunch of stuff. If it's of value to you, you'll stick around. If we're not of value, that won't happen. That's just very clear entrepreneurially what I think. So my turn tonight is I'm going to kind of be more quiet but what do you all want? What do you know? Now, I know there's some experts in the room. My value is, is I'm very big on seek first to understand, then to be understood. My hope is, is that I want to get your questions captured first. And then we would like to gather that. And those who want to offer resources, quite honestly, that's what we want to tee up, whether it's an online play, whether it's whatever. We want to capture what you want. And if there are resources here, Let's, that's the networking, exchange cards, and let's finish. Y'all talk and meet and shake hands and, and do the whole play. But we are here very clear to subscribe to what you all want. Sean, am I right? Yes, sir. So we hope that we'll grow. We hope that we'll learn. But quite honestly, I want to start the Austin Six of entrepreneurialism. We want to kick it up, and we want to get it going. We want the chatter to happen. And quite honestly, if you're not happy, you need to talk about it at, at the Sense website on the discussion. If you, want, if you can't get answers, talk about it there. We'll find the people. They will come out, and they'll respond. And you just got to decide whether it's good for you or not. But that's what the market does, and you have to be open and transparent. So to that end, are there any questions 
before I ask, what do you want? Does my gallery over there have any quick comments before we kick off? No, okay, good, I just had to ask. What do you guys want? You're here, you have businesses, are you getting everything you want? How's it working for you? What do you need? Always need new customers. New customers. New so, customers always need us. Okay, so how can we help? Um, referrals. Okay. So you want us to go bring you customers? No, I want to give you a flyer and you join up. If you refer, if you just hand them a flyer, that's all you have to do. Okay. Everybody needs security, whether it be a burglar alarm or closed circuit television. Okay. Got it. It's on tape too, by the way. Good. What else? What do you want as an entrepreneur? A resource pool of Everything. I need 10 hours of this, 5 hours of that, 6 hours of that, 15 hours of that. No possible way I can hire people full time. It's difficult to find them. So some place to go to say, where's, where's an accountant, where's an engineer, where's an IT guy, where's a, where's a secretary, where's a typist, where's an editor, where's a web person, so that it's like, don't get buried. If you're small, you don't need full-time employees. What you need is a, is a team of resources that you can draw on. Okay. Looking for new hires, basically? Like students? That are skilled in what you, what you listed? You're looking for the amount of help you need at the time you need it without the anchor in the load, right? You need, you need fast, flexible, friendly people who can pop in, give you what you need, and pop out. You ever heard of a business called Elance on, on, online? World's largest freelance deal. But, yeah, but, I, but, we'll, but good point. So, so, what, so what entrepreneurs need, let me rephrase the question here. So what, you're, what I'm hearing you saying is, is that we need a talent pool who, are prop, who may be full-time employees but can freelance and pop in and you can say, today I need this and you can have that. Right. Okay. All right. Other stuff. Trevor Rizzuto, um, great, uh, me and Sean go way back, um, going to Southeastern right now, studying construction management, but I work for Cutco, and I just, and, uh, I just, I work on a referral basis, and so, if we're all here, we're talking, like, we can all benefit each other, but, I mean, we all offer goods and services, why don't we just, you know, build something, or put, you know, it could be like a pamphlet, for what I'm, I don't know, and, um, just be able to present it to people, people could contact uh, us and see all our services and goods that can be provided, that could be powerful, that could help everybody. So it would be a value as an entrepreneur for this network for you all to be able to display what you all do and be able to cross refer and help each other. Yes, no? Yeah. Would the social networking site Ning be able to do that? I don't know. Do we have some web designers here who might be able to jump into that? That may be an opportunity. We're going to capture this stuff, and we're going to put it back up. And we'll talk a little bit more about the answers in a minute, but I still, again, want to capture for a few minutes. I'm interested in a web designer for um, my photography business. I do aerial, industrial, and forensic photography. Is it, okay. But uh, I'll need a web designer. Okay. So, and again, I'm going to try and throw everything back to the, the platform. If um, So amongst this group, I guess what you need, you know, I mean, is that Craigslist? Y'all talk to me for a minute. Is that where you're going? Odesk. Huh? Odesk for Baton Rouge of this, this region. If you're not familiar with Odesk, is, it's almost a technology base um, for programming, web design, et cetera. You can go on and get someone from Indonesia who may at the different, almost, they put their prices and show their work. So something like that. Even yeah, Elance does the same, exactly. And do it that way. I know, I mean, like, I personally just, with, I have, you know, great ideas. I mean, I don't know, I'll, I'll bet on it that I have, you know, some of the best ideas around, but I just, sometimes I don't know where to take them. So I think having a place to take good ideas and then have them shot to their, in, into the right direction for me. Because uh, BR, you know, Baton Rouge is a big place, not the biggest, but, you know, having, you know, whether it's Sense or it's a hub or it's online, hey, y'all, I got this, this good idea. 
who do I talk to? Which direction do I go with it? You know, that's that's a big thing for me. So what do you want from Sense? I think even like with us, we we advertise on Career Builder and Monster and uh, numerous other areas, even including Craigslist. Um, just more efficient, better ways of advertising for if you're wanting to, to gain more recruits, uh, even in, in like in ours, in our business, uh, you know, really the in-school college student really wouldn't benefit us as much as the coming right out of school with an entrepreneur mindset to uh, further their career. Okay, that's what you want. Is that of any interest to this group? Are you all willing to help each other? I mean, what do you... I'm sorry, is, is that a, is he, what he would like is better recruiting stock, I guess, is what you're shooting for? More efficient, uh, better ways to recruiting uh, on top of what we already have with Career Builder, career builder and Monster and uh, the few other ways that we do have. So would it be helpful to have people who recruit and do that give, give information to entrepreneurs who are sales professionals who give you all stuff like that? Would that be of value? And then what could a group of other entrepreneurs, I mean, what would you, what would you like for these people to give you? Well, obviously, it's, I mean, it's, it's for a sense or... Mm -hmm. He's looking for a These are now your brethren. I mean, you're about to jump into a pool with all these people. What do you want? What we need is just a good stock of qualified candidates that we can hire and train. And, uh, I mean, the best thing that we can bring to the table is that we do business to business, direct marketing and sales. And so we're out there every day talking to independent business owners, I mean, that's how we make our bread and butter, and we've helped out other people just through, you know, some referral basis and things like that. I mean, I mean we have been able to throw Anthony's in business a while back for his cleaning business. Okay, that's what, you, that's what you want. What are you willing to give? What we do. I mean, like I said, we, every day we're out there talking with business owners. If we can refer people and help people meet, because that's, we shake hands and kiss babies with business owners every day. Every single one of my guys in my office will see 30 businesses every single day. We meet people, and we interconnect people very easily, and so we're more than willing to help offer that. Okay. Yes, sir. When I was a student here, I guess two years ago, uh, Ocean Career Services, at the time it was Tiger Track and Ocean Career Services, would be a good resource for you know students that are still in school and recent graduates. Um, but it wasn't a popular program when I was a student just because it's still not. we didn't get a lot of feedback. They weren't getting a lot of, you know, you sign up for it, you put your resume out there, um, you know, they send you an email like the Career Expo is coming. That was really about it. If, you know, we talked to them and teamed up with Sense and a, a marketing firm that says, look, we now in, this is what we need, but we know all these other businesses, we're working with them and marketing for them and maybe market LSU Career Services a little bit better with Sense, kind of build, you know, some synergy there and try and build off each other. It's the same group. I mean, it's students that are, uh, that are graduating. So for, say, a small business owner, I mean, y'all actually, I'll take people in, y'all teach them pretty much how to sell and how to market. I mean, from, you can take anybody off the street, pretty much teach them how to sell. Yeah. And so, say somebody has a small business that they're getting started up, and they have this great product. They don't know how to sell. Brian has this great product. He doesn't know how to sell. As, as someone else makes sense, y'all could develop a program that maybe teach him. That's something that that's kind of thing we're looking for. Is what could you, you know, offer? I mean, we can recruit, we can refer all day. But the bottom line is, you know, when you have an entrepreneur that's trying to get started, um, he's not looking to get necessarily recruited into someone else's organization. At the same time, he can refer people, and we all will refer people. But um, you know, if you could offer something to him, and he could in return offer, you know, refer maybe five people to you. So if, if be kind of a give and take system. But as a as an entrepreneur myself, I mean, any of you guys on the top row when you start businesses, is there any, you know, bread and butter, anything like, you know, that you necessarily don't know how to do, but like you don't know have any direction in I mean, a business, you know, business plans or, you know, where do I go to get uh, capital or finance or I mean, how do I market my product? I mean, anything like that specifically that's on your mind. Is everybody here just looking for sales and marketing? Anybody got any big ideas or big dreams or anybody trying to knock it? I mean, somebody looking for capital so they can do something? I build solar panels in Louisiana rather than build them from China. But I understand it's very, very expensive to get started. Like uh, $500,000 for a clean room. For well, are you the guy who could do it? Uh, I know people who have the capability, but it takes big bucks. Big, big bucks. Okay. 
it's also kind of a nasty business, but I think it can be done in an eco-friendly manner. Okay, so what do you need? Um, well, I have an electrical, en electrical engineer and a nuclear physicist. The, ne the next thing would be money. Okay. So how can, you've got an idea. You've got, an idea. well, I don't know. We're, we're, we're here to start, so how can, what do you need from us for you to do that business? What do you need from this group? What do you need from Sense? What would be a value to say, I got this done because of my alignment, of my engagement with Sense? I guess the biggest thing would be money and expertise. You know, I, I only have the idea that, you know, you can save a lot on your electric electricity bill by putting solar panels on top of your house. In addition, you can save on your electricity bill because those solar panels cast a shadow on the roof of your house, which absorbs an awful lot of heat from the sun. Anybody else have a big idea? Brian, what you got? I'm interested in learning about what kind of knowledge and logistics it would take to start my own hedge fund. We have that knowledge here, I think, or some of it. Good, okay, I'll capture that. What else? What are y'all looking for? Go ahead. I've been working on one in Louisiana. Um, economic development. Louisiana is incredibly tidal. It makes it extremely difficult to cross boundaries in Louisiana. And so we're trying to put together a, a networking tool that would allow people doing economic development in Louisiana to know who their partners and compatriots uh, can be. And we've talked to all kinds of people that have gotten to see money. Who else? What else do y'all want? Uh, you know, I, I'm not being combative. I'm taking you all down a little bit of a road, so so play with me a little bit, but. business owner. 
the first 10 or 15 years I advertised in the Yellow Pages. The second 15 or 20 years, I did no advertising whatsoever, all word of mouth. And that's the best business that you can get. People come in, they don't ask you any questions because their friends already told them. This guy knows what he's doing, he's gonna treat you right, and that's what referrals is all about, and I think that's what we're here for. Okay. And it's also less expensive. You asked why we're here, so mm -hmm. I'll tell you why I'm here. In Louisiana, I work corporate, and I have to put a mask on. I work education, I have to put four masks on. I work consulting, you have to put a mask on. I work the political theme, you put a mask on. Entrepreneurs have an energy, they have a vitality, they have a risk-prone attitude towards life. They have a go-for attitude that is missing from those other venues. When I'm in those other venues, people don't think entrepreneurially. They don't have that energy. They don't have that vitality. They don't have the verb. They don't have the go for it energy. And I've learned that when I'm in those groups, I have to back off. Because if I start letting that out, if I start expressing that degree of drive, that degree of interest, that degree of insanity, people back off. They go away because it's outside their frame of reference. So I came here primarily because I was looking for people who are hooked on the energy, the drive, the passion, the craziness, the nuttiness of trying to go out and do it on your own, make it happen, see it happen. I'm serious about it. I believe you. So that's what I was looking for, is where are the entrepreneurs? I know where the politicians are. I know where the financiers are. I know where the educators are. I know where the bankers are. I know where the corporate people are. Where are the entrepreneurs? Because those are the only people that make it happen. Everybody else follows. So if this community is going to change, if this community is going to grow, it's going to come out of places like this and not out of places like the state legislature. Is that a group you all want to be a part of? Sure. Raise your hand if that's a group you want to be a part of. Okay. We're now getting somewhere. I, I can sit up here and lecture, but I'm really letting you all drive it because, quite honestly, it's your organization. It's not mine. Do you remember the Japanese company that was going to move into, I think, the St. James Parish mm -hmm. a few years ago? Do you remember why they shared they shared with state government why they didn't move to Louisiana? Do you remember what those reasons were? Mm -hmm. No. Number one, a lack of an educated workforce. Okay. Number two, litter. Okay which indicates that people are not proud to be where they are and they have no respect for their environment. Now, this group seems like a much more aware group than your average South Louisianian or your average Louisianian, for instance. But I thought that that was very, very telling uh, about our state, you know, the amount of litter that's on the road. And please don't get me like I'm sitting here like I'm lost. I'm, I'm really very comfortable because you all have to get comfortable with who you want to be because I can walk out of here and do a, a bite in the news tomorrow and say gee it's a bunch of really exciting people but you know unless you guys unless it comes from you all it isn't me I'm just showing up for tonight so quite honestly Mr. Bannon to your to your Greg is it Greg Greg you know it's what y'all want to be so if y'all want to be a fired up bunch that does really exciting stuff and gets after it and kicks butt it's up to y'all it's not my it's not my party nor is it Sean's Y'all are going to get online and decide whether y'all want to chat about status quo or what you want to demand. If you want to get fired up, if you all want to meet somewhere and do stuff, um, it's just amongst yourselves. And so, you know, I, so I appreciate, I, I share your enthusiasm, but, I, you know, no one man or woman can lead that through. It's got to be this group. So he just said something. What else do y'all want? When you hold this meeting again next month, what do you want? What do you, I mean, who do you want to be around? How do we do this? I specifically think that like, what his message was could be done much easier than just asking us, but breaking up. And if someone wants to talk, I really think if we break up and have individual discussions because there are plenty of people that aren't sitting in the right now.
I mean, you all need to demand of Sean what you want. He'll put it together. But he's not going to dress up, you know, birthday cake every month and hope you guys get excited. You got to tell him what you want, and he'll put, he'll facilitate it for you, <laughs> huh? The Jello shot. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm all about it. And <laughs> and, and, and and okay. Terry, what do you have to do to get money? I don't know. Have a good credit score. I think that's not the right answer. As I'm sitting there listening, you know, I'm thinking about, all right, so I'm, if I'm going to fund deals, what would I like them to have? You know, if they're going to have their own little community, if they're going to have a support, or what, what would I like to see? And I guess I'm thinking in the bigger picture, which is, um, it's okay to fail. You know, support each other. If you make mistakes, it's okay. You're going to make mistakes. Talking to each other can help you avoid some. Some you're going to run just dead into that wall. And you're going to need somebody else helping pick you up so you can go on around the wall. Because the point is to get around the wall, not to just stop. And you, you talk about a few things that are important to you as an entrepreneur, your company, you know, resources, recruiting, how to find the money. In the end, it's all about it's all about the people you surround yourself with. It's having um, what we would call, you know, A team and B business plan is a deal you can do. A B business plan with an, uh, an A business plan with a B team, you got questions on it. What that's saying is it's all about the people, you know, back people, support people, surround yourself with people. <coughs> So as I sit and I look at what, what I'd like to see people have, it's, it's basically a, you know, a group that acknowledges um, to themselves and to the, the group what they're good at and what they're not. When they make mistakes, they ask for help. You get fixed facts faster by asking for help. Um, you avoid things. You, um, you pick up the tips you need. You network. There's nothing like that out there right now. That's the biggest point, which is why this is here. That's why I'm here today. I want to see who would come out. I wanted to see um, something that I might want to be involved with, I want to, be involved with to the extent whatever can be my support, my advice when it's needed, when it's not, I shut up. The benefit of those with experience is, is that some of you all may be ready to go. And maybe you, as if you're not ready to go, as you're here to support and cheer those on, because at some point you're going to want to step up and go. Wouldn't you like to have seen a couple of people go through the gate and help them? Wouldn't you like to be a support vehicle because if he needs 50, if he's got 50, bucks, but he's got a great idea. If everybody goes, okay, he's moving in the chute to get going, and you've got 20 people who, you know, it's about support and it's about where you're going. It, I mean, Terry's exactly right. It's the jockey and the horse. And the key is, is that, you know, if everybody's coaching that jockey and getting there, if you've got a peer group and you're not going through it alone and you're supported, when one of you all is ready to come out the chute, everybody wants a win. And that's what will get you supported because you're not, you're not going to be bankable by yourself often. You're not going to be where you need to be. But if, you, if somebody has the entrepreneurial drive and is ready to hit the chute, the a value of this group, the viral marketing, the true entrepreneurial spirit is, yes, the breakout tables are good exercises, but at some point somebody's going to bubble up like I'm close to ready. Let them pitch to this group and feedback and everybody learns and everybody gives so when it's your time in the shoot you get to know it's about building capacity so if you want to be an entrepreneur you may you may some people may be here just at the very beginning some people may be ready to go well is this the group that i would want to go through the shoot with i don't know but that's i think terry to your point i mean is is what from this group is what do you get from this group you don't want to go through it alone you want all the help you can get from people you don't have to pay there are people who will need it at some point that you can do through it. Some people are here for marketing and leads, and that's part of the game. Some people are here for recruits and for different, different pieces. Some people are here for capital. Some people are here for ideas, you know. But we've got 30,000 students who've got to have great ideas. 
we would love for them to show up once a month or however you do it here, whether it's at walk-ons or here or wherever, and say, I have an idea. And now have a group who's used to talking about it saying, you're not in the shoot, but hang with us for a while. Sign up, be on the membership, and watch some of our other guys come through the shoot and see how they go. Then you learn, and you watch others, and you get to sort of, you know, it's like when you do surgery, the doctors that sit above the glass dome and watch surgery. Watch others come through the chute. That's how you build capacity. That's how Sand Hill Road, uh, you know, in, in Cupertino, that's how other places go. The key in Baton Rouge is that everything's been a microcosm. Are you guys a peer group? Are you, like A6, are you a group of interested peers with the sole purpose of assisting each other get through the chute? Do we need to bring attorneys in to talk to us? Yeah. But let's say Greg is all fired up, wants to go through the chute. Do you all want to watch him go through? Sure. You always want to watch somebody else fall on the stake. But at the end of the day, if you're there to help him up and help him over, he may learn some stuff. You'll certainly learn a lot. And when you want to put somebody else's capital at risk, you'll be there to do that. So that's a core value of what this group can do, regardless of how big or how small. You could stand up and say, I think I'm ready to go through the chute. I want to make a pitch. I want people who will listen. And I know that I will give to them when I'm not in the chute, and they will give to me when I am in the chute. Make sense? Is it something that you all value? Is it all BS? I don't know. Thoughts? I'm only 26. I'll just look old. <laughs> But what's different about today is, is in that old world, I didn't have any friends. It was me. I mean, it really, you're by yourself. Now you have social networks. Now you have people that can now build websites and make commerce happen. You can run a business without ever spending a dime on marketing. I'm in the middle of a huge project where we will literally launch a piece and spend no money on advertising, only through social networking. And, and, and huh? Yes, it is. And so, um, but it's testing the model. You don't need what you used to have before. Now, there are traditional institutional opportunities. And look, we need to leverage those. But at the end of the day, I guess through Sean's and our discussion, and I think Terry says it very well, is, is that who, who are you guys to each other? You know, it, it, this is the last time you're going to kind of see me. It's kind of what I'm, I expect you all to get online and talk about somebody saying, I'm ready. I want, I, want, I want people to look at my stuff. I want questions. I want to know. Yes, sir. I think what most of us are looking for is like a uh, network of a slingshot support group. Someone that has, a, someone that has a, gr a great idea. Okay, that's fine, but we need somewhere where we can go that has the ability of someone saying, okay, great, I like your idea. I'm going to write you a business plan. I'm going to call some investors. I'm also going to call on a management team. We're going to get this started. That's what I think we need is a network of something to slingshot us through. And guys who are looking for deals are, are watching you all to incubate and, and come up through there. Some of it takes time and years. And, and again, LTBTC does a great job. It is a resource. But you guys need to start, you know, if that's what you want is, is that that's what you do. Because quite honestly, there's some people here who showed up because of the spin we got in the marketing being here. You know, Terry and Kevin and those folks are looking for people who want to be jockeys. And what's your horse look like? But you guys are your own best resource. You know, it's hard to find capital. But you know, you can sit with 30 other people and say, Greg can say, this is my deal, is my widget, y'all pick it apart, talk about it. You know, and you can refine it, and these guys will be watching. And if you're good, and if you're solid, and if, they, if you beat those pieces, then you, get, then you get into the shoot. And then, quite honestly, people can kick in and do that. So, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of an opportunity in the play. I envision Sanskrit and the highs and ears on campus for any good ideas. If 
there's a good idea on campus, it has to come through us. I mean, we'll be the first ones to hear about it. I mean, like I said, everyone, anyone who knows me, if you come to idea with me, you know, I'm going to make it happen. So, and like Mike said, there's people here right now, if all you did was open your mouth and it was a good, semi-good idea, you might have some people interested in talking to you, so you got to open your mouth. And we'll help you. This is not the last meeting. This is the first meeting for sense. Um, whether or not we meet at coffee shops or we meet here next month or we're meeting online, uh, the bottom line is get people that think like us, entrepreneurial, and let's start talking. Let's get the buzz going. And I love what you said. I mean, bottom line is, you know, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to talk to politicians or anybody else. We're here to get things done. And, and you know, there are entrepreneurs in Baton Rouge. You know, Sense is a place that they're going to connect. And where good ideas are going to happen. If somebody comes in, either yes or no. You know, if somebody has a good idea on campus, it needs to come through us. That's what I envision with Sense, Mike. Where is the hub of innovation in Baton Rouge? Anybody know? The hub of innovation in Baton Rouge. Me. Who? Where's the, where's the hub of ego in Baton Rouge? No, I'm just kidding. Um, Is there a real innovate? Is where is Baton Rouge known for innovation? Nowhere. Correct. Guys, the ground's wide open. Where, where is it? I don't know where it is. Well, there's places here that are hidden, though. The Energy Group has done a terrific job with their with their games. We've got the Electronic Arts has an outfit here. There's an outfit across the river Fort Allen that does medical. Work. Pennington has a bunch of stuff. There are big studios out uh, um, on airline that do all the movie production. There's big animation projects that are going on here, but they're all hidden. They're all in the bushes. They're all you only stumble upon them uh, because you're kind of messing around. But they're not visible as either resources or sources of energy. Pennington, Pennington's kind of hard to miss. It's pretty big. But, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and not that, not that. And not that those aren't innovators, but you know the key is is where's the attitude? Where's where's the entrepreneurial spirit located in Baton Rouge? If you get off, we, I sat in a meeting with all the chancellors and tech parks and everybody else. Kevin was in that meeting, and the question that was asked was, when you get off the plane and you want to be an entrepreneur, and you want to come to Baton Rouge, you get off the plane, where do you go? Is there a place you go? If you call, if you told somebody to come to Baton Rouge, where do you go? I don't know. I mean, tell me if you if you know it. Well, the Chamber of Commerce would tell you to go there. Mm -hmm. There, anybody's working their plan. I mean, the incubators are as well. Everybody's scratching their head on the question. The bottom line is, go read Seth's book, Seth Godin's book, Tribes. What it says is, this group is only what you guys want it to be. You'll self-select. You'll decide whether you want to go home tonight, get on the web, and begin to give. Ask the group, who wants to get in the shoot? How can we help you? So hopefully somebody will say, I need help. But you got to look out for yourselves. And if you need LBTC to come talk and address where we are, those are the assets that ought to come out and do that. Because again, do a great job. Tech Park does a great job. Uh, Arthur Cooper's group, our Ag Center does a great job. Those are all in play and working. But you guys are young people with ideas, mostly. The key is, is Sense wants to be the place where you talk about it, where you seek support, and where you go for it. We're going to leave today, and it's going to be kind of up to what you all, y'all are, people are going to say, how'd it go? And, either, and you're committed to yourselves or you're not. So, you know, probably a percentage of you all will get on and want to do that. The media will kick up a little bit. Maybe we'll do a deal next month. I don't know. And uh, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But it's really amongst yourselves. I think your idea is great. I think the key is to have some activity of what comes in next time and do that. So, yes, sir. Not everybody 
that surrounds us has the same kind of spark and that drive that we do as entrepreneurs. And it's important to feel like you have people around you that are your peers, um, that are like-minded, that can give you that extra push towards your ideas. And also, um, to be surrounded by seasoned veterans, like some of these guys in the room, um, that can give us guidance, that can mentor us, that can connect us with uh, people in positions of power that can help us see our ideas uh, be realized. That's really important um, because not everybody, you know, knows, you know, guys like you and, and older guys in the room that, you know, Sean and those people. And not everybody has those kind of contacts to help you be pushed forward. Um, also, I think uh, a great thing that sense could be, and this is something that uh, someone told me about the other day, but a lot of engineering grad programs, um, when people are working on like their, uh, as you call like your senior thesis, or whatever it is, you put all your peers in a room and uh, you come with your idea and you basically present it and everybody picks you apart. And I think it would be a really cool idea to have kind of a business plan for them where um, you have like five or six people come with their business plan, present it, and then your peers pick it apart and say, well, you know, how would this work? How would that work? And you know, you to write out your ideas and uh, know where your weaknesses are, know where your strengths are, and also you can invite, uh, you know, potential investors and angel investors that want ideas to put capital behind to preview what we have to offer. I think that would be a really good idea for sense to you know, these the, the guys with money or, or the people looking for investors and stuff like that in the angel fund, there is, there is money out there and they're looking. If there's a place where it can bubble up and be seen, being a sense or a hub like that, there are people always looking for good deals, for good opportunities. And again, it's been through those kind of focused silo channels that are out there. It can change, I assure you. Um, I'm sorry, somebody, you know. Go ahead. Hi, I'm a reformed alcoholic. I need now. No, today I feel. <laughs> today I feel. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Past, it's kind of past alcohol. Uh, we've been past six months. We've been working on alcoholic beverages, liquor. We've um, we have a good product. We um, we've taken around around Baton Rouge. People like it. But as far as um, putting together and selling it, that's kind of um, we're not very familiar with that. Um, kind of out there. We're not uh, don't know how to make a website. To the sales, so we know we have a good product. It's as far as getting out there to um, Baton Rouge. Hey, thank you. We have a guy in the shoot. <laughs> Alcoholic beverages. What a deal, huh? Give him a hand. I said Jello shots, not Jello shots, huh? No, I'm sure you could make it. All right, here's a guy who says he's in the shoot. He's got a product. He doesn't know how to market it. Doesn't know where to go. Doesn't know what to do. Would you guys be willing to have him present to you guys and have you all see if you can help him get through the shoot? Would you? Would that be a value to you? Yes, not today. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's but it's still early, so I don't know. So what do you guys want to do? Taste it. A lot of it. <laughs> yeah, you got to get quantitative samples. But tell us, tell us what you would want from a group like this. I don't know. I guess there's, I guess you know, how to sell, how to make a sell, sell a it. Clear business model. Yeah, a business plan. Oh, and I got business development guys like right here yeah. who know how to sell, right? Yeah. So you guys would be willing to help, wouldn't you? Yeah. So you all help them get through the shoot? Absolutely. Okay. Five steps of the conversation. Won't even charge you for it because that's what we do here. What a great story if we got on sense and talked about this. Is it a proprietary secret deal or anything? Are you trying to keep no, it in a... Okay. Last bit's Okay. Well, yeah. At this point, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't grow immediately. So now it's out. So it's okay. All right. Go ahead. What about sales intensive? Everybody's struggling with sales right now. Even cold calling tactics. The value of this group is, is that I need help selling. Who can give it? Guys does. Inventory of skills. What do you need? How can you help each other? Everybody brings something different to the table. So again, in the, in the, what I really want to do is drive you all to the website to ask that. 
because the deal is, is this is our group. We are members. We talked about selling. Can we do an event here? Because Sense can sell, set all that up. You can meet somewhere if it's just part of the crew. The key is for people to ask for what they need and for those to give and to take. And we got a guy in the shoot and do it that way. I don't want to. I, I didn't want to cut you off, but. Um, it's a control so thing. Uh, but I mean, I've been thinking the whole time, what a great opportunity um, to bring, you know, businesses and potential investors together. Because where I sit every day is people like you that are that have business ideas coming to me saying, "Where's the money?" And then I'm supposed to go call Terry every single day for every single person, and that just doesn't work. He doesn't want to get my phone call that often. So I think there's a lot of Terrys out there, and they don't know where you are. And so if, if we could really build this as a great, you know, the, the good stuff comes through here and the good stuff comes out of here and that we all help each other and that if you go to one of these meetings, you're going you're gonna to see some, some good stuff going on in Baton Rouge and then you're going to then draw the more Terry's of the world to these meetings. And then, I mean, I just think it's, I think, I think you have a really good opportunity here. So I just wanted to kind of reiterate what you said. Uh, I appreciate that. That's a key. Go ahead, Terry. Been there, done that. So, um, yeah, it's. I have a reputation as being one of the nicer guys out there that I'm not going to just shred you and rip you apart and make you leave crying. Um, there are a few people that do that when you come in and present your deal, but um, you just got the time to take it. But the bigger point to that is um, you need to listen to the advice of some others, maybe with some expertise, you know, with people who have been there, done that, like Mike was talking about, so that. When they tell you, you know, you're not quite ready, you probably ought to be listening to what they have to say and making some tweaks in your business plan, your model, whatever it is they're giving you advice on. So, when you, because you, you only get one shot, right? I mean, generally speaking, inside of five to ten minutes with a, a money guy, they'll know, at least the institutional types, they're going to know whether they want to continue sitting with you or not. They may give you more time, but in five or ten minutes, if you've done your first, you know, few minutes right, they already know. Um, so you've got to, you've got to, um, you've got to be ready when you walk in. You've got to have had the preparation, and that's what something like this can do for you as well. And these guys can show up and coach and help, and LBTC can help because, you know, this might invest. They just don't want to deal with kids in diapers, as they kind of call it. But if we can get this group, again, it's not about giving you fish, it's teaching you how to fish. If you get together, learn. If if Chris wants to come through the shoot, watch him go. Watch him make his presentation. Terry, Kevin, people, Bill, show up and say, here's what money people want to know. You've got to answer this question. You want to do solar panels. How would you get them? Where do you know? Go back. Study that. Bring that answer. And at some point, when you bring the witch's broom back, the wizard will see you. And so that's the process. But better than ever, there's a sense that entrepreneurs can connect without going through some formal program or four-year deal where the buzz, because with a Mac and a laptop, you can do damn near anything these days. And so the deal is, is how do you get into the chute to be, to be there? And so I hope since, if you all want to participate, is I would say, Chris, when would you be willing to present? When we have a next meeting. When, when, when would you be ready to present? Okay, y'all want to show up in two weeks and see if you can help this guy through? No, look, let's all let's all do group hug here. But I mean, the deal here is is that if 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 because someday you're going to need help, you're going to want to get in the shoot. So Chris has offered to take the lead. He's got a piece that's there. Quite honestly, I'd like to open it up with sense and say, we've got a guy who's going to present. Come watch. Now, it's, it's a very, uh, you know, uh, yeah, no pressure, Chris. I have trouble talking in front of these Well, but, you know, but that's the play. And these, yeah. does, does anybody here want Chris to fail? No. All right. Okay, I won't care. I'll everybody give a hug, you know, love him on the way out. But, Chris, are you willing to step up and show these guys what you got? All right. Are you all willing to show up in a couple of weeks? Sure. Is anybody else ready? Anybody else want to put out there? Yeah, I got my stuff right now. I'm not ready for you. <laughs> I've known Chuck a long time. I have a question. Uh, yes. Can we put it to action? Um, not just with him, but let's get 
next meeting, if we can get a couple of guys to come do a you know presentation of their business plan, let's go ahead and dissect it, you know, and see, you know, see where it goes. It's Mac and Cooper. You hang around with him a lot, don't you? You just want to go. I think this group's ready to watch anybody who's in the shoot. Think of the think of after Chris makes his presentation, what looked good, what didn't look good. How can you help? What can you do? Because quite honestly, you guys will start buzzing about it. You'll be online after Chris does his deal saying, Chris, what about this? Or maybe Terry says, I can hook you up here. Or maybe there's a product specialist. Or Tim Mockler is one of my best friends. Now, I don't know whether that plays well or plays against, but people know people. I mean, that's what this whole social networking is about. You know, again, LBT, all the tech parks, they know. We're waiting on you guys. We want you guys to show up and play. So two weeks, Tuesday night. Um, does anybody live around here? Is that the best scenario? This is a great place to meet. Yeah, what's well, seventy-five bucks? Uh, somebody well, else wants to put it. The cost a dollar a piece. Buck, yeah, a couple of bucks a head. We'll pitch in. Let's do it again. But if you want to do it here, this is ground zero. This, this is great. Place. Are y'all willing to show up Tuesday at seven o'clock? Chris will make his pitch, and if there's somebody else, there's a great program that that part of what. Terry and I are kind of putting together, we're, we're building a thing called Cafe and kind of working on it. But there's a great program you can go on the internet and see, it's called Ignite, I-G-N-I-T-E. It's in Portland, Seattle, it's all over the United States. People come and pitch for five minutes about anything they want. And it gets you in the mode of condensing your stories, pitching, but people hear ideas. And from those 15 that happen, A, it's a blast, everybody brings popcorn and stuff. But you watch it, because it's a lot of fun. Young people want to have fun, life's too short. But they'd pitch it from, from that, people would go, hey, Chris has a great five-minute presentation. Would you come do it to the group and work it through? That's the fun stuff like you're talking about that we can get that doing. We want to get an exciting place, be it Sense or Cafe or whatever we do, and start getting that going. So you guys are in. Everybody coming next uh, two weeks Tuesday? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you going to send us an email or longer? Or we'll... Absolutely. Yeah. Sense, and, and number two is we're going to be watching who's on Sense and who isn't. He was just talking to it, so we'll do it that way. Um, you'll be back, hopefully, to watch. Yes, sir. Are we looking for more people to present? We just want to do one at a time, kind of. Thing. I don't know. Do y'all want more people to present? Can you find somebody to present? It's up to I'll you do. all. You want to present? What do you got? Classes on demand. I'll present. Uh, we've kind of had a, a difficulty with our actual target market is students. They view the material from classes, lectures, things like that. That barrier is working with universities to get it implemented. So what do you need from, what would you want from this group? Find, we need to expand obviously instead of just looking at LSU to other universities. So other university contacts, other, you know, whether it be community colleges, whether it be training schools, technical schools, um, things like that. And also I think a big push is gonna be a student drive. Um, maybe finding a new marketing approach to how students can say, you know, get in papers, get it, you know, their voices heard, say, look, this is something that's out there. It's better than just, you know, getting a PowerPoint the next day. We actually were able to see the entire presentation um, that our teacher presented, whether it's you know for student athletes, students with disabilities, or you just didn't you know correctly, you just didn't understand the material. You want to review it for a test and have students really push it. So it'd be interesting to hear some ideas. You know, I've got my own of what students would be pushing, but I'm two years out of college. Things have changed you know, drastically since I was there, and um, it'd be nice to hear some fresh ideas on that. And, how we can start moving faster instead of getting this. So your request to this group is you show them your product and you want their feedback of whether you, of A, how you can do it better and what they think of it. Okay, and that would be a value to you? You see the holes, the benefits, and a real marketing push. Does it have any potential? If you were well capitalized, what would happen? Okay. Chris has just lost, we just need to get him through the shoot. Yeah. Right, Chris? I love you, man, hang in there. But uh, no I'm excited about that. What is it? It's a, it's a, it's a liquor, it's called Chaos. So um, I'll bring it in. Yeah, let you guys try it. Yeah, samples. <laughs> yeah, samples. Okay. It's not that. And uh, all right, we'll have the meeting. Then we'll do the samples. But no, we're just kidding. And uh, but um, all right. Do you all want them? Is there anything that you all would want for them to bring to you so you can help? Is there any suggestions before they present? Do you have any specific areas that you really want us to focus on? If I have some kind of a template for us of cool please focus on this area for us to give you feedback on a specific area and then obviously we'll fill in the rest with whatever comes to our heads but if there's any key areas that you guys really want to focus on you know, let us know what they are with some kind of questionnaire or something like that Terry Kevin you don't have something? anything that they would be good for them to at least cover or talk about or 
Well, I think it's kind of two different situations. Mm -hmm. You know, in Michael's situation, it's kind of really a little bit more focused on one specific or a couple of specific things, not trying to get a whole pitch out and analyze the whole deal. I mean, I, I, I know him about him already. It's sure. good stuff. So, but um, I don't know about I don't know about Chris, and I don't know what you know. If it's just the, the whole gamut, and we got to we got to work on helping work on everything, okay. which is fine. But you may want to throw stuff out on the on the, uh, the site. You know, as, here's a couple of questions, thoughts. Okay. Um, time. Should there be a time? Ten minute pitch. Five minutes. I mean, I'm thinking, how many of these are you going to do? Five minutes with five to ten minutes of. If you have to get it refined, special. it's going to make you think in terms of what your message is. I so rather than doing a 30 minute presentation, a 12 minute pitch is moving fast. At five, you're really flying. So you you have to be extremely refined. So how long would you recommend? I probably wouldn't. I would try to keep it no longer than 10 for a pitch. Okay. So if you're going to do multiple of these, plus there's going to be more going on in the session. You've got feedback. Feedback will probably be at least as long as the presentation was. All right, well, let's do two pitches. Let's take these two guys, 10 minutes apiece. You pitch, we ask questions, and we talk. So we'll take 10 minutes, 20 to help talk about, strategize, see what happens. And then we'll do the next one, 10 minutes, and then take <clears throat> talk about it and see what happens from there. Man, we got deals going. I'm sure excited. Um, sure. What about, like, what if someone does not a person specifically pitching an idea? Like, with the, with the, um, we could have themes on these meetings. Uh, like, I don't have an idea. Well, I have plenty of ideas, but I'm not in any. I'm in school. I'm looking to buy a house. I'm really interested in foreclosures. Uh, I, I know enough. I, I learned enough to know how much I don't know. And so, um, what if we had a specific theme, uh, real estate, one day? You know, we had real estate agents come in. What if, um, you know, we had discussions on uh, different places to to learn more about that and so hey we got we got pitches we got people doing a pitch one day but the next week we're going to be talking about this bring what you know if you don't know bring a notepad so you can take notes here's your assignment for two <coughs> weeks from now get online talk about things that you want if it's foreclosures because they're going to be areas what I, what, I, what what may be of of not so much interest for everybody as if we have a real estate half show, half don't because they're not interested. So how do we shake it up and make it different? And it may be four different tables. If there, if four things emerge, some people want money, some people want sales and marketing help, some people want to find resources. Maybe we do 15, 20 minutes of those tables. So your homework is, is what do you want? If that's something that's there, doesn't hurt, we can find somebody. Because if we get the buzz going, Somebody in that business is going to say, I'd be glad to be at the table to be a resource for you guys. A banker may show up and say, I'm, or a mortgage, or we can certainly find some. You know, and again, the chamber and other people you know, will pop in. LBTC can, you know, if, there's, if, if you all want resources or discussions on that, if, and quite honestly, you know, if, if you're the only one who wants to talk about foreclosures, hopefully online, put it up. I would like to have a table that talks about this topic. Who's in with me? And you can start groups. You can put groups and stuff on that go to Ning and figure it out. But create the world that you want. Create the experience you want. And you know, if, if, you, if, there's, if you blog it and chat it and put it up there, hopefully people will say, I would like to sign up for that table. I will get it because you can join the group in Ning. Join that foreclosure group, and we'll sit up the table and do four tables and put, bring experts in for what works for you. So rather than taking the whole group down the way, we may break those out and do that. Yes, sir. I'm going to ask the group a question. At the end of the week, in two weeks, I have a presentation with the Secretary of State on putting into Louisiana an entrepreneurial web service based on integrating the needs of businesses throughout Louisiana, because we've done a terrible job on it. It was the first time I presented this formally. It also sounds like what I'm involved in is extremely close to what a lot of people here have talked about, is how do we get a focused resource? And if it's appropriate, I would talk about that both in terms of how we can use that as a resource for this group and to give me some insight in how I can best present this to the state because I'd like to have it funded. It's a minor issue. Two things that I might recommend. First of all is get on the site and say, 
I'm interested because what you want to do is throw up a flag right. and hopefully people jump into your discussion and have a <coughs> chat or whatever because, you know, again, there's, there's the herd mentality of the whole room listening to it. If you need the whole room, then maybe that can happen. But the deal is, is that get online and set up the experiences that you want and hopefully people go and start looking to see what's in there and experts will watch as well. But if that's, so you have it a week from Friday? No, it's uh, the eight, 15, 16, 17. So that's 18. before our two, what's two no, weeks from now? The 15th, so it's right after. Yeah, it's right after. And until you started talking about it, I hadn't thought about it. And then I thought, geez, first you're talking about the same kind of issue. And secondly, I enjoy the chance of getting whacked before I have to walk in and get really whacked. That's I'll extremely helpful. I'll tell you what. Get online. I'll do it. Throw the flag out. Mm -hmm. Will you all please take a look at what he wants and what he's shooting for? And at the end of the day, if the 15 rolls around and you need to get group time, you know, let's do that. But hopefully this group will say, this is what I'm planning to do, and give them the insight. And if, if you need some expertise, we'll watch or put it out to Sean, you know, because he's the moderator. Put it out to Sean and say, Sean, I really would like to have. And quite honestly, we can get, because of this is what's going on, if there is some inside, you know, wherever you're going to, that we wanted to blog in a little earlier, you know, why not lay the seeds for that? You know, this is a hip place that's going on, and if you want somebody, I mean, Bill Bryan's all plugged in over at the Capitol, you know, maybe gets on the blog and gives some insights, or we can get somebody, you know, you're in the legal world, you could probably give a lot of insight to his deal, but get the chatter online, that's where people are going to want to go and watch and see. And so, if you don't mind, that's what I would that's recommend. Good. If you Thank need you. it, we'll do that. Good. Thank you. I don't want to go way, way for long. Other stuff, did you have a comment you want to make? Yeah. Well, the good thing about this is we're not alone in this. You have a great idea. You may not be this, the person to make a pitch. You've never, you might have never seen a pitch there. You have never really talked to big wigs. The good thing about this is some of us have. Some of us know what they're looking for. Some of us know what they want. And that's what I think that is great about this right here. I think it's going to be great in two weeks. I think Chris will be great, and I think we'll learn a lot, and we'll see a lot of what goes on. Can we put up like a video conferencing thing also? Maybe, you know, one of us can't make it to the, one of our I'm meetings. I'm sure Sean will look at it, or if there's discussions. I mean, is that difficult to set up? It's not that hard. Recording the actual Oh, we got web people here. Can help us. You don't mind streaming it live? I haven't even gone on the website, really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we have just video capabilities on the side. Tyler's a pretty smart guy right here with the microphone. Yeah, if you guys want it, we'll work to do it. And again, we have institutional assistance where we need it and uh, if it, where it makes sense. And so, uh, you know, everybody wants a win. And there's, right. good, and there's more good ideas out there on campus, y'all. So, and there's, you know, there's twice as many people out there, just like as sharp people on campus. So, you know, attract, attract more good quality people to sense. You know, we're, uh, we're not looking, like I said, not looking to make friends. We're looking for people that are serious about pushing other people's ideas through the shoot. So if, uh, you know, if you can take a step back, look at the big picture, and realize you might have to uh, help make a few people's ideas successful before yours is ready to be successful, I think everybody, you know, will have a better, uh, better time with this. So by I the appreciate way, everybody for coming. By the way, fun's a whole lot of stuff to do. Let's have some fun with Chris and you guys. And, I mean, you know, life's too short. Uh, you know, let's get together and, and, and have, have a good time and do it. I'm dying to know what you thought of tonight. No, I, I mean, I'm just here listening. Um, no, I mean, I think this is a good start. Uh, you know, part of my attraction, of course, coming back uh, to Louisiana was you know, I, I've been away from what's happening, you know, and I can see uh, what's happening in Asia. And they're actually doing a lot of similar things. In a lot of the places that I visited, other than Singapore, which has pumped in billions of dollars into creating this kind of ecosystem, in other areas like Vietnam, where there's a lot of energetic people with good ideas, it's the same sort of situation where people have come together uh, and guys have just connected together, and you know it takes as little as fifteen hundred dollars or five hundred dollars to create a livelihood project, which just turned out into a mammoth story. And one example is, um, you know, just like the raising cane story here in Vietnam, there's a there's a, a you know national coffee shop called Highlands Coffee. Same situation where you know a Vietnamese studied in the U.S. has come back. You know, there's no semblance of any sort of you know entrepreneurship in that in that economy. And um, you know, he started off you know in a very small coffee shop, you know, and started off the idea and it sprouted. So it's an excellent start. You know, I think um, you just don't want to be so disparate with 
you know, there's such a disparity in terms of ideas and what people want out of this that, you know, if there's an opportunity for you guys to focus on a couple of things, mm -hmm. whether it is uh, more policy, which I think is critically needed um, here in Louisiana in, in terms of encouraging entrepreneurs, whether it's, you know, facilitating avenues where people can make pitches, um, and then maybe one other thing, and then I think you're in good shape. I, mean, I think you, you, perhaps, and you know, whether it's on a one-on-one -on -one discussion, there should be a less emphasis on trying to find customers or trying to find referrals. I mean, I mean that's part of the game. Sure. Right. But it's a piece. It's not the right. end game. Right. I right. agree. So, I mean, this is a good start. I mean, I've I've heard a lot of things which, with regards to what's happening at LSU and and so on and so forth, but. Uh, and I don't know what's happening with New Orleans. I mean, sure, they've got their own situation in New Orleans with a lot of energy, a lot of nonprofits actually helping to facilitate this. But, you know, sort of scratching my head why there wasn't such a thing in, in Baton Rouge. So. Well, Sean's vision that he came to me was is that we want to get people identified who have great ideas, get them into the shoot, look at the assets that we have that can pour into them. And again, the traditional paths work, um, but there's new paths. So this group of 30, 40 people can watch people come to the shoot, and we're going to figure it out. We've got people watching who are smart, bring resources, bring stuff in. It's just a new game at it because you can do it. So I think your point's well taken. Bill? Well, I was just going to say, I think, you know, ultimately it's a great idea to watch people go through the shoot. But I think we may want to also um, watch people getting to the point where they go through the shoot. And we may want to just take people at various phases in their concept, whether it be infancy or Correct. middle, and, and just let them uh, articulate where they are, what they're doing, and and we can talk about the landmines that they're going to sure. approach and uh, kind of modify it so that, you know, that by the time they hit graduation and go through that shoot, they'll have been schooled a little bit more than just trying to do it all their, on their own and say, okay, now I'm ready to go. All right, to conclude and wrap up, A, first of all, thanks. I'm in a group called YPO, or now WPO which is presidents, we have forums, 10 or 12 people who literally have no interest in your life except to be supportive. There are other CEOs, business, half of them are in the Eli Business School, Jimmy Morans and all that that have been in my forum. And these are people who have no interest, they're not your lawyer, they're not your attorney, they're not your wife, they're not your cousin, and they have absolutely no interest except for you, for them to be of your personal counsel to have you succeed. When I had cancer, Lee Michael Berg of Lee Michael's Jewelry was in my forum, and they said I need to go to MD Anderson, and he got me there. I mean, that's what these guys do, and you give and you take. You guys, being an entrepreneur is, is tough, but if you go through it, you learn the capacity, you get it, you can figure it out. So I would kind of reflect off what you say. We want to get people in the, we want to build the capacity of people getting to the shoot. I mean, how cool two years from now, if we've got people saying, I'm ready, I want to go through. They've watched for six months some deals come through. They've learned from what they've done, and they're ready to go to the shoot, and these guys are ready to catch them. You know, not all of them go through, but you build capacity. We don't have to wait for an institution, guys. We can do it. The institutions, they're ready to help. The key is, is now let's take the lead rather than applying to be it. Let's drive it because I assure you that the good people who want to do this stuff will be there and be ready. Any closing comments? I'm just sitting here learning, uh, getting as much information uh, as I can because uh, I kind of went out there and, and put my own money out the line helping out friends, you know, going to business for myself. So right now I'm kind of looking for that next person who uh, I don't know anything about about liquor, but I mean, if, if it's a great idea, I do. And, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if it, and, and, and if it's a great idea, and, and let's say it takes you know thirty or forty thousand to, to kind of help jumpstart that, you know, I don't. So you're actually starting on that path towards venture capital at a right. small stage. You could learn from the big guys, kind of ways to protect your your interests. Right. You know, there's ways. Everybody. And don't come in here just asking for. You got to give. Give your time. Give your effort. Give your insights. Make sure you want everybody else to win, because when your time comes through, you're going to want them all supporting you. But I think this is the greatest. I mean, I think this is an excellent learning tool, also to make mistakes. Make as many of your mistakes Absolutely. as possible. You know, when I pitched to private equity guys long ago, I mean, as Terry said, it was a one-shot deal. Of course, we could have, you know, we could chuckle afterwards and have a beer, etc. But you know, the relationship changes, you know, afterwards. So make as many of your mistakes. Uh, you know, no matter how small or how big as possible in this kind of environment.
because you know once you have a you know once you have a meeting with the customer and you, you screw up, forget about it. Right. You all are your own best resource. Well said. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Y'all are it. Hey, here's what I want. Get online, talk it up, get other people to come and tell them to trust you. And if they want to come in two weeks, let them come. This is, it's open. We got to let it go, but it's up to you guys. If you're waiting on Sean and I to pump it up, it ain't going to happen. Thank you all. Thanks. Michael Trivia. Everybody wants my card. It's sitting on the corner there. But I was really impressed with how you ran this whole thing. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Give you one. Thanks for your comments. You finally right. broke the code. I was going to sit there and let them go around and circle, let y'all go around in circles forever. I, I, I've been, uh, I've been this route. Well, I, we all, we, you and I, yeah, we have gray hairs for it. So, uh, yeah. nope, rock and roll. I think it's great. I won't be back in two weeks because I'm going to Monday Night Football oh. with the Oakland Raiders. So I'll be on my way back from that game. You with but, the Oakland Raiders? Or you... Well, I'm part of that Raider Nation. Okay. So, All right. All right. But, um, I'm really interested in. We're going to video. I'm going to video it, so I'm going to plan on okay. doing that. So I'm going to try and capture all that. I'm a, I do a lot of career coaching at BRCC. Uh -huh. I'm really interested. I noticed tonight the females are not interacting, and I really would offer some more to get one of the girls up for one or two. Because that's typical. Down. Yeah. You know. It's y'all's experience. That's a great idea. We are not in control at all. So tee it up. I think it's great. Phyllis and Myrtle are both friends of mine. And, uh, and so, uh, but, you know, the RCC does a great job. But, um, yeah, tee them up. I mean, let's meet out there at Magnolia, whatever, you know. I mean, this place doesn't have to be at LSU. It can be anywhere. You know, if, if we can